Hi guys, welcome to Chilli Pot Kitchen. My name is Tarshini. It's time to make some hearty, creamy, rich instant pot hummus. It's a healthy alternative spread or dip. I'm so obsessed with this homemade instant pot hummus recipe. Making hummus at home is so easy and it will be far tastier than anything you will buy at the store. All you need is a few ingredients and a few minutes. It is loaded with more nutrients. Hummus is a good source of many vitamins and minerals. It is an excellent source of plant-based protein. A good source of dietary fiber, contains healthy fats and good for a blood sugar. Although hummus is packed with many vitamins and minerals, it is important to eat in moderation because it is also high in calories. I'm going to share a lot of tips and tricks to make hummus creamy and yummy. So stay with me till end. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Looking for more instant pot or electric pressure cooker, air fryer and instant pot blender recipes? Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more easy and tasty video recipes. I post new videos every Tuesday, Friday and Sunday. Let's get started. Check on the ingredients. Take a screenshot of ingredients or check the description box below later. Cook the dried chickpeas also known as garbanzo beans in the instant pot for 35 minutes with 3 cups of water without soaking the chickpeas. If you are planning ahead to make hummus, you can always use the soaked beans to cut the cooking time and also the beans will be softer. Check the description box below. I have given the link how to cook chickpeas in the instant pot with no soak and soaking method. Drain the cooked chickpeas and save the water called aqua faba. If you want to make hummus extra creamy and smooth, I would recommend you to remove the skin of the chickpeas. In a high speed blender or food processor, add drained chickpeas. You can also use canned chickpeas for this recipe. I am adding homemade tahini to it. Tahini is nothing but a roasted sesame paste. This gives a nice creamy texture and flavor to the hummus. If you don't have sesame seeds or if you don't like tahini, you can always skip this step. I have given the link for how to make tahini at home in description box below. Please do check it because tahini is super expensive in the store. I prefer to make at home and it is super easy and it's cost effective too. Add lemon juice. Use fresh lemon juice. If you are using bottled lemon juice, hummus may taste a little bit bitter. Add chickpea water called aqua faba. If you didn't save the drained water, that's fine. You can always add water. Add two garlic cloves. If you like garlic flavor, feel free to add couple more. If you want to make jain hummus or don't like garlic taste, just omit the garlic. Add extra virgin olive oil. That gives a nice flavor to the hummus. Add cumin seeds for extra flavor. You may add roasted cumin seed powder also. Add salt as per your taste. First blend them over the lowest speed, then increase the speed slowly to high. Blend until desired smoothness. It take approximately like 1 to 2 minutes, depends on the blender. I am using an Ace Plus blender. I just selected the smoothie option and walk away. It blends itself. Feel free to add some more water or aqua faba if you find hard to blend or the consistency is too thick. The hummus is done. The texture looks so creamy. You can store this homemade hummus for 3 to 5 days in your refrigerator and up to 6 months in the freezer. Don't defrost it in the microwave, just defrost it in the fridge. When you are plating, make a well kind. Drizzle with extra virgin olive oil, a pinch of salt and paprika, garnish hummus with finely chopped parsley or coriander leaves, then serve it with veggies, falafel, chips or as you like. Thanks for watching my video. If you like the video, give a thumbs up. Do try this recipe at your home and give me a feedback in the comment section below. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and follow me in the Instagram and Facebook. Pin the recipes in the Pinterest. If you have any questions or feedback, write it in the comment section below. I will respond to it as soon as possible. And see you guys in the next video. Bye.